I'm here with Bruce McMurray. Bruce is an elder at Faith Community Church and also a commissioned pastor. So you, uh, just like last week, I said you may be familiar with Gary Miller because he does preaching around the classes. You may be familiar with Bruce because he does some preaching around the classes. Bruce, could you introduce yourself and uh, how you're connected with Classes Wisconsin? Sure. Um, I'm <clears throat> Bruce McMurray. I'm a retired public school elementary principal and also was a teacher for seven years. And after I retired, God kind of gave me the opportunity to be more involved in our denomination. And so um, through kind of an interesting set of um, coincidences, I joined the Leadership Development Network and became certified eventually as a commissioned pastor. So um, I've served as the chair of the Classical Missions Committee, working with Dave Kutzma real closely. And that's been a terrific experience. He's a, a great guy to work with. Um, I've known Dave since I joined our church in 1991. He yeah. was one of a couple of guys who came up and introduced themselves Dave to has, me. Dave has connections to Faith Community as well. And we've had he Pastor does. Jason Rice he a couple does. of times. So Faith Community has been well represented here on Classes Wisconsin Weekly. And you guys are a very involved church. What well, was Dave... Was Dave doing uh, teaching LDN at the time, Bruce, when, when you went through? Not, uh, yes, but that was uh, around 2011 or so. Okay. So it was a number of years after I'd met him. But yeah, Dave was. Yeah. Same, was, same was for great. me. Yeah. Yeah. He's awesome. Anyways, huh? keep going. Well, anyway, um, yeah, I had been raised in the Episcopal Church and um, kind of walked away from church at college and then had a lightning bolt conversion experience back in 1971 with the Milwaukee Jesus people who came and did a crusade. And I went there thinking I'd make fun of them. And instead the Holy Spirit shot arrows into my heart and opened me up. So I went forward and, uh, and I've been a believer since those days. And I'm so thankful. Um, didn't connect with the Christian Reformed Church until 1991 when we moved up here. We were visiting a number of different churches and just really liked uh, Faith Community Church. Larry Meyer was the pastor at the time. And the first day I walked in, I met Larry Meyer, Dave Kutzman, Jerry Vernick, who have all become lifelong friends. So it's, it's been great. So my wife Sue and I plugged in and have five children who we raised towards the tail end of the upbringing years in um, faith community. And now I have two grandsons. So all my kids are grown and all in the Milwaukee area. I'm real thankful for that. For a while, they're scattered around the world. So it's really nice to have them back. <laughs> Bruce, the, the Jesus People movement is a lot different than the Christian Reformed Church. How do, how do you go from that conversion in that type of, I mean, is it safe to call it charismatic yep. type of environment? How do, you, how do you go from that to landing in a CRC church, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, no problem. Uh, gosh, you know, <clears throat> I could take a long time on it, but we, um, after I became a believer, I was a really immature believer, needed a lot of counseling, mm -hmm. a lot of help. And um, I plugged in with um, a couple of campus groups that were charismatic at the time. But then when I graduated from college, my wife and I moved over to the Milwaukee area and joined Elmbrook Church. And that pulled us much more towards an evangelical kind of perspective. And it became really clear to me, digging in the word was huge. And um, some of the charismatic groups will do that too. Sure. But for me, um, that focus was really critical for me to mature as a believer. We joined very small groups, which really made a huge difference. And I encourage anybody to do that mm -hmm. if they want to grow as a Christian. And then um, we moved to the um, Madison area for four years, joined an evangelical free church because that was the closest thing to what we're looking for. Yeah. And moved up to Beaver Dam and just visited a number of churches. Evangelical free was a new church plant. We'd been involved in a church plant in the Milwaukee area. We really wanted something more established. And the CRC just seemed a really good fit. And as time went on, that continued. And we're very happy. The denomination has been great. Been really, really happy to be part of it. And really, I've gotten to know it better as I've served in a couple of denominational roles. I was yeah. um, on the Resonate board, the um, denominational-wide um, missions board. And then for a year or two on the Council of Delegates, as I was first forming, which kind of oversees the den denomination on behalf of Synod when Synod's not in charge, when, you know, when Synod's not meeting. Yep. And so that was quite an experience. Mm, neat. So yeah, um, interesting journey, but in yeah. a way it's just 
plug in deep into God's word and the yeah. Holy Spirit leading us into yeah. where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> I would have never guessed any of this, that's for sure. <laughs> well, we are certainly blessed to have you. And, and like I said, you and, and, and you mentioned Pastor Larry, too, another guy who's connected to Faith Community Church. You guys have been a real a real blessing in leadership roles and just so connected in classes work and, and missions committee is basically is basically Faith Community Church right now. But um, we appreciate you guys. The follow up, Bruce, is always um, what are you working on? Yeah, um, I was uh, thinking about what God has been impressing on me um, in the last year or two, actually, in the preaching I've been doing and the uh, the discipleship work I've been doing. And I have a phrase I think God kind of laid on my heart, which is, I don't do it, I can't do it, he does it, because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I think that's so important for all of us to know. It's Christ's power, not us mustering up on our own the strength we need to follow him. And um, a couple other verses I think of. One is uh, God has given us the desire and the ability to do what pleases him. That's in the uh, uh, New Living Translation version of, of Philippians 2.13. And then um, the other verse I think of a lot is in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and 10. And, and 2, 8, and 9 are real familiar. For by, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's a gift of God, not works, lest anyone should boast. But then the next verse, for we are God's masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do good work, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. Okay. The word masterpiece is a pretty good translation of the Greek word. Sometimes they'll say workmanship. But a masterpiece Boy, you think of that, you know, like David's Michelangelo statue or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was sharing a seminar a while back, and back in the old days, they were using overhead projectors, and a fly landed on the overhead projector. We we're talking about technology. Yeah. And I said, "You want to know technology? There's technology. You know, <laughs> the, the incredible life of a fly or a mosquito. You know, <laughs> and." Thinking about us and God's masterpiece, even those tiny things are God's masterpieces. Oh, wow. We yeah. can't, you know. So. <clears throat> Recently, I've also been, uh, I, I'm kind of working on a sermon right now looking at um, uh, God's redemption for us mm -hmm. and um, in, in thinking about some of the ways people have stumbled and even people that are, that are really well known. Um, I think of what David did with Bathsheba in that whole disastrous mess, that whole scandal that was created. And yet God forgave him. He had consequences for the rest of his life from doing that. But God forgave him. And he was a man after God's own heart. He shows a great example of how to repent in Psalm 51, created me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And that gives all of us hope, you know, um, and, and including those who have really fallen from high places. If we're going to cut people off completely because they stumbled, we probably wouldn't be reading the Psalms, you mm, know. Mm. Yeah, I, I was always impressed. I think it's also in Psalm 51. I may be mistaken, uh, but David's Psalm that says, Search me and know my inmost being. How many yeah. of us are willing to say that to God? Yeah. I'd, I'd rather be Jonah and say, uh, No thanks. I'm going to hide my inmost being. Uh, and David says, Hey, look, you got to sift through some of this stuff because I need, I need a rescuer. That's good. The Psalms are powerful. You're right. Yeah. I, I kind of take their out of Adam and hide a lot of times. Yeah. It's my coping yeah, mechanism. Another, another, another great example. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> have you, have you seen in your preaching, um, is, is most of your preaching at faith community church or are you kind of pretty well spread out around different churches? No, it's, it's mostly been at Faith Community. Um, some of the churches in our area I have preached at, but since the uh, COVID, COVID pandemic, or maybe it's become an epidemic, I hope it's going down, being downgraded. Um, I, I've been at Faith Community most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, but I have talked at Living, I've preached at Living Hope um, yeah. at the Wapan churches and uh, um, at, at one of the Randolph churches too. Yeah. Well, Bruce, uh, any way that we can be praying for you or for Faith Community Church or, or the, the Missions Committee, Outreach Committee of Classes, any prayer requests for us? You know, one of the things I'm seeing is, and, and we're, 
I, I've been privileged to be part of a pastor group that gets together once a month. We call it team six, like after the six team, you know, um, military yeah, operation. Yeah, yeah. 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 The Navy SEALs and all. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing the stress that pastors are under, especially mm -hmm. during this crazy time of life that we're in with the pandemic and, and also the political divisions that seem to be ripping us apart if we're not careful. Um, so I think prayer for wisdom and, and how to work with our fellow pastors also for our churches. It's a focus on God's word, not get sucked up into the divisive things that are going on that are not specifically coming out of God's word. I, I think we can really get sidetracked. I think the enemy is having a real field day right now mm -hmm. with all the confusion that's out there and, and all the anger and emotions that are flying around. So, um, you know, the other thing, Zach, is for our denomination, um, we've been working with two churches that um, have dropped in their membership quite a bit. Um, one's in Madison and one's in uh, Kenosha. And both of those fellowships have some really wonderful people and caring people in them. And they're, it's so hard for them to, to see their churches shrink in, in numbers. And it's also hard because those are key areas in our state yeah. where there's a lot of opportunity to reach out. So prayer for, for those churches and for our um, missions committee would be great. The missions committee has a charge that includes not only planting new churches, but God helping us revitalizing or restructuring existing churches. And so um, that's very much on our hearts these days. Yeah. Um, well, I appreciate that, Bruce, and, and we'll say a prayer for those things today and, and, and keep you in good. prayer. Um, we should have connected. What day is it today? Wednesday. We should have connected at classes yesterday, but it was canceled. So yeah. we'll, we'll we'll pray for a, a an ability to meet together as a classes in in March, Lord willing. So you betcha. Yeah, appreciate yep. the time, Bruce.